I had some time, so I thought I'd make a video about one of the latest additions to my collection. This is a rather rare piece of uh, Georgian silverware. This was made during the reign of George III, King George III of England, who famously went mad. And it's from about 1795, 1800. So that's about, give or take, 120 years, uh, sorry, 220 years old. I won this at auction, and it is a 220 year old pap boat. The pap boat is a little feeding vessel. Basically, in here you would have pap. Uh, pap is like a type of porridge. It's made of uh, flour, eggs, milk, water, sugar, uh, breadcrumbs to make it nice and soft and squishy. And you would scoop it into here and you would use this vessel to feed a baby or a toddler. So you pop this up to its mouth and uh, feed it in like that and uh, let the baby eat. Uh, these are fairly rare. I mean, you don't come across them in uh, most antique shops. You will see quite a few of them online. Uh, but, you know, to go into an antique shop, you might struggle to find one of these. Um, the pap boat was invented in, I think, the 17th century, so uh, late 1600s, and it remained in use through the Georgian era, all the way through uh, most of the Victorian era. Uh, by then, it had started to morph slowly into more of an invalid feeding bowl, uh, which is of a very different shape uh, to this. It's more round rather than oval. It has a it has a spout like a teapot rather than a uh, pouring lip like this. Anyway, this piece is solid silver, and it has the hallmarks on the and to prove it, they're all down here, they're rather hard to read, um, but this is the maker's mark, this is the lion percent for sterling silver, this is the leopard's head for London, this is the date letter which is completely rubbed out, and this is the duty mark for George III. Uh, duty marks are marks for taxation on silver, in England, they were the law from 1784 until 1890. Uh, I dated this to the 1790s based on the shape of the duty mark. Um, the first one, like I said, introduced in 1784. It was changed roughly 10 years later in 1795, and that's the one which I think most closely matches this one, so that's why I've put it at that date. 1795, 1800, thereabouts. And it's just, it's, it's a really cute piece of silverware. I mean, it's a really interesting little antique. You know, if you pulled this out of your collection cabinet or whatever it was, and showed it to most people who came over to visit, they would have absolutely no idea what this is. Um, this is why I love antiques. You know, you have all these weird, curious little things that most people have never seen before, have never heard of before. Uh, they have no idea what the hell these things do, what they are. Um, they have no idea what their very purpose for existing is. And, uh, I just think it's a really pretty little piece of silverware. Yes, it has a few, uh, couple of minor dents and, uh, some scratches on it. I mean, it's 200 years old. You know, you're not going to get anything perfect that's 200 years old. And I just think it's a really cute piece of silver. Uh, if you want to read a bit more about it, then you can go to my blog, and uh, there's an article there, and I'll leave the link in the description below. Thank you very much 
for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.